Hey everyone, Brandon Lee here with Virtualization How To, and today we're diving into a new NAS device that really caught my attention, mainly because of how tiny it is, but also because of what it can actually do. This is my review of the B-Link ME Mini NAS, one of the smallest NAS devices I've ever used, yet I found that it delivers some serious performance potential for home labs, even content creators, or as a lightweight virtualization box. So let's take a look at the specs, performance, and the kinds of home lab use cases you might find for it in 2025. And might this be the world's smallest true NAS server? Let's find out. So first up, the size. This thing is tiny. The dimensions came in at just 99 by 99.2 by 98.3 millimeters. Basically, it fits in the palm of your hand. But don't let the size fool you. This thing is very capable and a great little NAS with high speed storage and enough flexibility to run things like TrueNAS, Proxmox, or even your virtual machines and containers natively. And it's perfect for setups like Project Mini Racks that are growing in popularity. Powering this NAS is the Intel N150 processor from the Twin Lake lineup. Now it's not going to blow you away in the benchmarks, but it's a quad core CPU with 3.6 gigahertz clock speed and just six watts of TDP. Now this makes it extremely power efficient and when you're running a lab 24 by seven by 365, that is money back into your pocket. If you're using it as a storage target, as a media server, even a lightweight virtualization box, the N150 actually performs quite well with its power envelope. I'll link to the benchmark results below if you want to check those out. The system is equipped with 12 gigs of LP DDR5 memory, which is soldered on, so it's not upgradable. But 12 gigs is still a solid amount for running a NAS OS, some containers, and maybe a couple of VMs if you're careful with your resource allocation. Just keep in mind, memory will be the bottleneck if you try to run too much natively on the device. But if you're using it as a storage target and having the compute memory somewhere else, that may make for some really interesting use cases as well. Now let's talk about what really makes the B-Leak ME Mini stand out, and that is storage. Despite its small footprint, it does support up to six M.2 NVMe SSDs with support for 2230, 42, and 2280 form factors. And if you load it up with six four terabyte drives, you can actually hit the maximum capacity of 24 terabytes, and that's all flash. That is phenomenal for this size. Now it comes pre-installed with Windows 11, which you can wipe and replace with something like TrueNAS, Unraid, Proxmox or Open Media Vault, depending on what your needs are. Now, let's talk more about this onboard storage. It has 64 gigs of onboard E MMC flash storage, which can be used as a boot disk or for something like logging. And that's a great little bonus because it means you can totally dedicate your NVMe drives fully to data without worrying about splitting that off for the operating system. Now, next up is connectivity. The I.O. selection is surprisingly strong for a device this small. You've got two times two and a half gig LAN ports, great for network transfers or link aggregation. You've got two times USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports, one times USB 2.0, uh, maybe for a UPS or something else you want to use, and a HDMI 2.1 port, a USB-C port, and then also the DC input, a barrel adapter. Those dual two and a half gig ethernet adapters are extremely nice. You can bond those for redundancy or increased throughput if your software supports it, uh, something like TrueNAS or Linux bonding. Now B-Link de designed this thing with quiet operation in mind and there's an active cooling fan inside, but it's basically silent under normal use. The fan is mounted at the top and pushes air down. I actually thought it was a rather ingenious design and the thermal pads that it includes for the M.2 drives also help with thermal uh, cooling there and keeping things cool under load, as well as keeping the noise level of the unit very, very quiet. Packaging was clean and protective, what you would expect from B-Link. Uh, getting inside was easy too. Uh, you just pop off the four rubber screw covers and remove the screws in the corners. And once you lift the lid off, 
the unit, you will actually see the nicely laid out interior, which again has the uh, M.2 slots all the way around the perimeter of the device. It came pre-installed also with a two terabyte NVMe SSD install from the factory. So you've got that built in automatically out of the box for storage. Now B-Link gives you flexibility here as well. You can run something like TrueNAS or Unraid if you're going for a NAS focused build, Proxmox VE if you want a virtualization solution, Ubuntu server or Debian as a bare metal installation for general purpose workloads, something like Open Media Vault for a beginner friendly NAS setup. And as I mentioned earlier, it also comes with Windows 11 pre-installed. That can be kept if you want to uh, run it as a Windows device or you can install it with something else. What's really nice about the B-Link ME Mini is that it also runs VMware ESXi and that is due to the Intel network adapters. That's right, this thing doesn't run the very common Realtek network adapters that you find in most mini PCs. It's fully Intel based network adapters and that is phenomenal because it gives you another choice of an operating system hypervisor to run on top of this really interesting NAS hardware. So I want to show you guys how you can install TrueNAS on this B-Link ME Mini. So I am simply booted off of some virtual media on my tiny pilot and I'm going to select to install and upgrade and we'll get to see what this process looks like. So now we are to the installation selecting the storage in the unit and as you can see I just through a Duke's mixture of storage inside of this unit. Here is the default storage that is the eMMC drive, which is the flash storage that is embedded storage already in the unit. Here is a Samsung SSD 970 that I have thrown in there as well, and also another NVMe drive that I have lying around, just a 512 gig NVMe drive, and we can see those three there. So I'm just going to select my Samsung SSD 970 70 and hit enter and this will basically give us the warning we're about to erase this particular storage we're going to say yes with proceed with the installation and we're going to set up using the web ui on the first login just going to hit enter and then the disk will be formatted and the installation files copied over and then we should be booted into TrueNAS. now here's where things get interesting the intel n150 only supports nine PCIe lanes total. So with six NVMe slots and two network ports, B-Link had to get fairly creative. So here's the breakdown of that. Five of the M.2 slots run at PCIe 3.0 times one. One slot in the number four position runs at PCIe 3.0 times two and the two and a half gig NICs each have a lane. So there's your nine lanes that complete that total. So even though you can load it with high-speed SSDs, each X1 slot maxes out at around one gig per second and the X2 slot around two gigs per second. It's not a problem if you're accessing files locally, but if you're streaming over the network, so the bottleneck here is actually still the network, not the X1 speeds of the NVMe drives. Because if you think about it, your maximum theoretical throughput over both two and a half gig network ports combined is around 625 megs per second. So the network, not the storage, is your bottleneck in most NAS use cases as it is with the ME Mini. So where does this B-Link ME Mini NAS fit best? Well, here are what I think are a few perfect use cases. A personal or family NAS, you can store photos, documents, backups, run it as a media server with Plex or Jellyfin, home lab learning, running a Docker environment, Kubernetes, TrueNAS, etc. Virtualization, running light VM workloads via Proxmox or KVM, or as a storage target for a mini PC running your virtual machines or containers. And so that I think gives you a lot of flexibility in a very compact footprint with the ME Mini. Now this NAS shines when it comes to power efficiency as well. At idle, I measured around eight and a half watts. Now under load, it peaked at around 21 watts. That is incredibly low and it's perfect for running a home lab server 24 by seven without worrying about the power bill. And it runs cool and quiet the whole time. 
So if you're interested in grabbing one, you can find the B-Link ME Mini NAS on Amazon in the description or buy directly from B-Link's website. And I have both of those links, again, in the description for the video. Well, to wrap up, the B-Link ME Mini NAS is one of the coolest compact NAS devices I have personally tested this year. It's ultra small, it's energy efficient, and it's packed with six NVMe drives and dual two and a half gig network adapters. Just be aware of the PCIe lane limits and the network throughput, which ultimately is the bottleneck. Still, for home labbers, creators, or anyone wanting a tiny, relatively powerful and quiet NAS, this thing is really hard to beat. Let me know what you think about this little NAS device in the comments. Have you already purchased one? Are you running TrueNAS or Proxmox on something like this? I would love to hear about your builds with this mini NAS or something like it. Well, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell if you're into home labs, virtualization, or just cool hardware like this. Please do stay safe out there, keep on home labbing, and I will see you in the next video.